Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to inspect your plants for insects. We're going to find three different things. We're going to find white flies, asparagus beetles, and slugs. I'm going to show you how to treat them. I'm going to talk about neem oil, how to make a solution, and how to use it in your garden. And really the most important thing you can do is to go out in your garden and inspect it regularly. These are some of my broccoli plants. Broccoli, cauliflower, kale all seem to be attacked by the same, pe same pests. First thing you want to do is start looking for holes. And small holes in there could be the green cabbage looper. I'm also going to talk about that. Could be snails. But as soon as you start seeing holes, you do have to start spraying all your crops to take care of the chewing insects. And neem oil is perfect for that. I also have been moving the leaves around and it's going to be hard to see because they're so small. But any time on the underside that you see little small white flies, uh, not even flies, they look like tiny moths. They don't look like flies, they're just white, white wings. When you see them flying around, those are white flies. And white flies will devastate your crops. They will spread like wildfire and the way that you really know Let's see if I can find some signs. Right here by my finger is a white patch. I'll take a picture of this too and I'll put pictures in here because it can be hard to see on camera. But those are basically white fly eggs. They start laying eggs underneath and it just looks like this little cottony patch placed on the undersides of your leaves. Let's see if I can find anything else. You can also see other holes in here. Those are signs that you're going to have to start spraying. And neem oil has a chemical in it called azadiractin. And that azadiractin um, is what kills chewing insects. So when you spray neem oil onto your plants, the chewing insects chew it and it kills them off in a couple of days. So for the white flies, we're going to use neem oil and a soapy water spray. I'll show you how to make that and how to use that. Let's go take a look at the asparagus. So the asparagus beetle will come when your asparagus is actually starting to break the ground and they're pretty easy to spot. Right there, let's see, I don't want to get out of focus, but there are a bunch of beetles. They're orange, they have yellow dots on them. Let me grab a few. This is what they look like and I'll take some pictures. And they come and they lay eggs on the tips of your asparagus and when they get full grown and the leaves come out, the tiny fern like leaves, you're going to start seeing little caterpillars. Um, it's the eggs hatching and they're going to go through and they're going to eat your asparagus leaves down. So this is when you really want to get the neem oil out and start spraying it because neem oil will affect the eggs that are laying there and when they hatch and the larvae start eating the leaves, they'll eat the azadiractin and that will kill them off. Now, a lot of people ask me, how often do you spray the neem oil? You're going to do the neem oil and soapy spray about every seven to ten days when you have minor insects. If you have an infestation, you want to do it every three days until you get it under control. But this is just the period when I would start spraying. Now, this damage is from the larger slugs, and then I get really tiny little snails that are um, super small, and they're the ones that chew all these holes in here. And they're treated with iron phosphate. And anytime you see something like that, this is usually a snail or slug problem. And you can see it happens on the lower leaves first, and that's usually a sign that it's snails and slugs. When it's the green cabbage looper or different kind of caterpillars that are laid on the leaves, it's usually the upper leaves. And you can find them hiding down in the stem. But this is going to be treated with iron phosphate. Let me get the remedies together and I'll show you how to use them. I just wanted to give you a picture of the snails. Usually when they're this small, that's a snail right in there. Um, they're snails. When they're bigger, they're slugs. But they do the same thing. They get onto the leaves and they chew holes in them. And iron phosphate is the way to take care of them.
So this is what I'm going to use. Back here is iron phosphate. That's for snails and slugs. And you basically just put the baited pellets down and I'll show you how to do that. I've done that in other videos. Here's the neem oil. This is a quart spray, 32 ounces. And in that you want to use one to two teaspoons. This is two teaspoons. I want to highly recommend that anytime you learn a spray, if it's from me, anywhere on the internet, from a bottle, test spray a couple of leaves before you go and douse your entire garden with a new spray. I've killed off many leaves and many plants because I just went in and started spraying like crazy. Test spray. So it's one to two teaspoons and 32 ounces and enough soap. That's um, Dawn dishwashing soap. It's pretty strong. I can't tell you exactly how much, but it's enough soap so that when you shake it up, the oil gets dispersed through there so that it's no longer floating. This is a 16 ounce container, so this has one teaspoon in there. For 16 ounces, it's a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon. And again, a little bit of soap, so enough that when you shake it up, it gets dispersed through the water. You want the oil dispersed through the water. And if you were gonna use a gallon and use a bigger sprayer, if your crops are bigger, it's one to two tablespoons per gallon. Let's take these over to the uh, insects and spray the leaves. I'll show you how to do that. Now white flies are best treated with neem oil and a soapy water spray. Um, this is a real minor infestation. I saw a couple white flies and a couple of, of the white cotton like egg um, deposits that they've laid on the leaves. So I'm going to spray this about every seven to ten days. If it was an infestation every three days over about a ten day period to get everything under control. Now if you're going to use neem oil make sure it's 100 percent cold pressed neem oil with azadirachtin. I sell it on my block or I sell it on my seed shop if you want to pick it up there. Can't give you the cheapest price because I can't buy it in bulk yet um, to size. But if you buy it anywhere, make sure it's 100% cold pressed neem. And I say that because the garbage that they sell in the big box stores are often a hydrophobic extract of neem and all the good stuff is removed. Why they're allowed to sell it that way and call it neem I don't know, but it doesn't have the azadirachtin and it doesn't have the components that you want to um, kill off chewing insects. So to spray it is pretty straightforward. Again, the oil settled, so give it a shake. And I also sell these nozzles that you can actually turn upside down and they will still spray and make sure you spray all the under sides of the leaves. You want to completely coat the leaves, getting the undersides and just getting the neem and soap all over the plant leaves. And I would do that for all of my greens. And I'm going to say it again, no matter where you buy it, make sure you get 100% cold pressed neem oil with all of its natural components that has a direct and don't buy any product that says hydrophobic extract of neem. Again, shake it up and for the asparagus, pretty much straightforward. Just go ahead and spray down on it and that will coat any eggs that are laid. It will cover the beetles. It may not kill the beetles if they're not chewing on it. But you do this every seven to 10 days and when any eggs hatch and the larva come out, the caterpillars come out, start chewing, within a couple of days they're gonna die off. And then finally for snails and slugs, iron phosphate. A light sprinkle to the ground, that's all you need. Don't pile it up so much like I did. Spread it out through the garden. The snails and slugs will go to it and they will chew on it and it will kill them off in a couple of days. The other thing to look for too, and I talked about the green cabbage looper. Anytime you see that white moth flying around in your garden, that's the moth, the butterfly that, lay, that lays the eggs of the green cabbage looper. As soon as you see that, you want to get your direct and spray, your 100% cold pressed neem oil, out onto your leaves so when they lay eggs, the eggs hatch, they eat that, the loopers die off, and you'll be able to save all of your leafy greens, be it kale, cabbage, um, broccoli, anything that are your cool weather green crops. Neem oil spray will take care of chewing insects. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com. And if you want to pick up neem oil or those two sprayers in the video, you can go to my um, garden seed um, shop at www.therusticgarden.com. Thanks.